Hello friends, in this tutorial, I am going to explain how to find common elements in three sorted array. So, uh, in this uh, Java tutorial, uh, we are going to write a Java program to find common element in three sorted array. So, uh, for example, I have the, these three arrays, array 1, array 2, array 3. And the common element among these three element is 20 and 80. So, this is uh, my problem statement as I have three sorted array and you have to write a Java code to find th find the common elements among three elements in three sorted arrays. So uh, let's uh, see uh, what are the different approaches uh, you can use to solve this problem. The first one is beginner approach and the time complexity of this approach is O n. Uh, cube so uh, i won't recommend this approach to anyone as it's not uh, good for large data sets but for understanding purpose let's see how it works so in this approach what i am doing is i am taking three four loops and then i am comparing array 1i equal to equal to array 2j and array 2j equal to equal to array 3k and if if this condition are true then uh, I print the uh, then I print any of uh, the three I mean any either you can print array 1 I or array 2 J or array 3 K all of them print the same element as uh, this is the common element among uh, three uh, array but uh, don't use this approach the time complexity of this approach is O n cube and there are much better approach is there to solve this problem. So another one is take three indexes x, y, z, initialize it to zero and then start traversing uh, all these three element and if you find the common elements let's print it. The time complexity of uh, that approaches O n which is much much better than O n cube. So let's see this approach. So so I am starting with main. So these are my three element uh, three arrays and I am passing in uh, this method common element which is a static method and uh, what I am doing here is so these are my three indexes x y and z. So uh, before uh, solving this problem uh, in my previous tutorial I have explained how to find common element among two arrays so uh, please so, uh, try to solve this problem first then uh, you can jump it to this problem so uh, uh, in this uh, approach what I am doing is I have declared three variables x y z and initialize with zero so I am running a while loop and checking whether x is uh, less than array 1 dot length, y is less than array 2 dot length and z is less than array 3 dot length. So why, why I am doing this? So suppose I have 3 array, array 1 has a length of 6, array 2 has a length of 5 and array 3 has a length of 8. So the loop will run uh, till 5. The reason being uh, we are finding common elements so there is no point to run a loop till the max length of array so so this is uh, why we put this condition and then uh, I am checking whether array 1 the index of array 1 is equal to array 2 and array 2 is equal to array 3 then it's common element and I am incrementing X, y, the value of x, y, z indexes. Similarly, if array 1, uh, the index at array 1 at this position, the value at index of this array is greater than array 2, uh, it means we need to increment the value of uh, array 2 index. And if array 2 y is greater than array 3 z, then we need to increment the value of z else x. So let's run. Uh, a program and see how it works so initially the value of x y z is 0 so I mean array 1 at this index of array 1 uh, the value at this index is uh, 1 uh, value at this index is 6 and value at this index is 3 so let's start 
so uh, here we are checking array 1 I mean the value at this index is equal to array 2 no so this condition is false let's move to next condition array 1 the value 1 is greater than 6 no this condition is false the value array 2 at this index is greater than uh, 3 yes so this condition uh, is true this condition won't execute at uh, because this one is true so now uh, the new value at this index is this. let's write it so we have array 1 0 uh, so the value of x is 0 value of y is 0 and value of z is 3 so array 1 is still point at this array 2 is this and now array 3 is here so again array the value 1 is equal to equal to 6 no so this condition is false x the value 1 is greater than 6 no y is greater than uh, this 4 yes so we have in, uh, again incremented z so 0 0 and now the new value is 0 0 and 2 so again let's 1 is equal to 6 so this condition is still not true uh, 1 is greater than 6 no and uh, y I mean 6 is greater than 15 no so else condition yani I, I mean x is incremented now this time this one 1 0 and 2 so array 1 the index is pointed this array, array 2 is still 6 and array 3 is 15 so let's compare 5 is equal to equal to 6 no so x is greater than y no y is greater than z no again this the value of x is incremented and let's 2 0 and 2 so array 1 points here array 2 is still uh, points at this index and array 3 is 50 so 10 is equal to equal to 6 no so 10 is greater than 6 yes so this time y is incremented so at this iteration uh, y is incremented and we have 2 1 and 2 so 7 it points to 7 so again 10 is equal to 7 no 10 is greater than 7 yes so now this time 2 2 and 2 so again 10 is equal to 20 no 10 uh, so 10 is greater than 20 no uh, 20 is greater than 15 yes so this time the value of z is incremented so 2 2 and 3 so again the loop uh, goes 10 is greater than equal to equal to 20 uh, equal to equal to 20 no so 10 is greater than no why the uh, so 20 is greater than uh, so sorry uh, 20 is greater than 20 no so x the value of x is incremented now it points to 3 2 and 3 so 20 is equal to equal to 20 yes and the value of this 20 is equal to equal to 20 so we found the first common element so which is 20 our first common element is 20 we found here so similarly the next the remaining element is also checked like this and we found one more common element which is 80 so if i run this program let's see so we have common elements 20 and 80 so this is uh, the best approach to find the common elements among three sorted array and I have explained how this uh, program works and how it 
it finds the common element among three elements the time complexity of this approach is o n and at the end of this video i have a interview playlist i have a question related to array i have a question related to string which you can find in my channel when you click at playlist or uh, you can find all this uh, programming tutorial link at the end of this video i can also put the links in description box so for more such programming video tutorial please subscribe our channel and please share uh, this video with your friends with your colleagues and uh, thanks for watching this video and thanks for your time